Ladies and gentlemen, Alice Fraser. Uh, Knox College in Galesburg in the US did a study on six-year-old girls asking them to identify which of a series of dolls most closely represented what they wanted to be. 68% of the girls chose the sexy doll and 72% thought they said they thought the sexy doll was the most popular. At six years old, these girls are already convinced that in order to be popular, you need to be a sexy paper doll. <laughs> oh, sweetheart, show me on the doll where society objectified you. <laughs> it's part of a trend that's been bothering social commentators since the 1990s. Raunch culture, female chauvinists, women complicit in their own sexual degradation. I feel like the silent victim of women dressing provocatively is the population of actual hookers. With young women dressing the way they do out there on a Saturday night, how do you, as a legitimate sex worker, distinguish yourself? <laughs> it used to be the, that you could identify a hooker because she dressed like a hooker. Now the only way a hard-working whore can one-up slutty Simone from the Shire is by actually showing her actual vagina on the street. <laughs> and it's winter! Come on, girls, have some consideration for your sisters in the sex industry. These six and sixteen year old girls need to be educated about the reality of what's going on when you empower yourself by building an identity around being fuckable. First off, your expiry date becomes much closer. There's no challenge in looking sexy as an 18 year old, that's what 18 year olds are for. You'll be a sexual magnet if you're dressed in a paper bag. Show me one that's still maintaining an identity as a sexual being at 55 years old and I'll congratulate you on your life choices. Sexy girls need to understand basic economics. The fact that ladies get into clubs for free, for example, is not a sign of your worth as a human being. Of course it's free to get into a club, slutty lady. You're the customer, you're the merchandise. <laughs> you will leave here tonight and you'll see young women stumbling towards you with glazed eyes, wearing those platform heels that look good when you're standing still, but when you walk, make you look like the Imperial Walkers out of Star Wars. <laughs> All you need is one hover bike and they're coming down. They're terrifying impacts and there's always one who's fallen off the back and is lying in the gutter going, leave me, leave me, I'm already dead. <laughs> I don't want to entirely devalue what these women have the power to do. For example, I think it's super cute how guys believe they're making the first move on these women. Like you guys are this amazing cool predator swooping in on the unsuspecting damsel and dazzling her into your manly embrace. I just think it's really cute. Uh, you know, she woke up three days ago and had her ass waxed, put on layers of fake tan, exfoliated all her skin off, stood still for 35 minutes until it dried, and then spent three hours cleaning fake tan off all the clothes and sheets that she'd accidentally rubbed up against. She put on fake eyelashes, fake boobs, a hairpiece, Spanx shapewear, shapewear, two foot heels, and a dress so short it looks like you just forgot to wear pants under your singlet. It is ridiculous to believe that you're the aggressor in those circumstances. <laughs> That said, for that girl, picking up a guy in those circumstances is like winning Call of Duty with immortality mode on. You actually have no idea what your skill level is because there's so many levels of artifice going on that your real personality can't get any oxygen and you become a hair-twirling idiot that shames the name of every female scientist that ever made an improvement to the quality of life for humanity. <laughs> know that the cosmetic industry moves 170 billion dollars a year imagine if that money was spent on literally anything else <laughs> we, we need to start teaching women that they're worth more than the sum total guy of guys that want to do them and girls that want to be them otherwise we're going to have a massive prob problem when this generation turns 35 and suddenly realize that without fake tan and a pair of vicious platform heels they haven't actually had time to develop a personality at all <laughs> Rational fear. Rational fear. Rational fear.